and actual books. Let's continue going, yeah. Yeah, anyways, I don't know what right. on. Yeah, yeah. All right, Islam. Islam. Give thanks, Sister Yuri Bay, for um, the update that the audio wasn't working. So that's how Canaan Land Moors get down, right? Um, so divine warning by the prophet. So what we spoke about just now, before we got cut off, was that these people right here that came to America called Turks, right? They naturalized into a foreign jurisdiction, hmm. right? So they, they lose their status, let's say, right? And then they get naturalized, mm -hmm. right? But when they get naturalized, they're called Americans. Hmm. They're not called United States Indians or U.S. people. Mm -hmm. They're called Americans, mm -hmm. right? Turks. So these are Turkish Americans, mm -hmm. right? It is a sin for any group of people to violate the national constitutional laws of a free national government and cling to names and principles that lead to slavery. Right? So we go to Noble Juali and we go to the, the, one of the most potent books that ever came out. One of the most potent books that ever came out, right? It's called the 101 Questionnaire. And the book looks like this Quran questions for Moorish Americans, Quran questions for Moorish children, 101 Questionnaire, 101, 102 Questionnaire, whatever you want to call it, Noble Jolly dropped it, right? And in it, question 85 Name some of the marks that were put upon the Moors of Northwest Amexum by the European nations in 1774? Answer, Negro, Black, Colored, and Ethiopian. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, right there he identified that we're Moors. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't say, name the marks that were put on the African, name the marks that were put on the Asiatic, mm -hmm name the marks that were put on the slaves of America mm -hmm. said name the marks that were put on the Moors mm -hmm. right the marks that were put on the Moors was Negro black colored and Ethiopian mm -hmm. today we have you know ETC mm -hmm. names mm -hmm. right the divine warning by the prophet is for all the nations. The Turks, you see that they have their fez on so they know what's up. Right? Mm -hmm. They know that they are the children of the Ottoman Empire mm -hmm. that was founded by Osman Bey. And in Turkey, they have statues or whatever of them with turban on. Mm -hmm. Right? And they know that people infiltrated so that they can call the Ottoman Empire the Turkish Empire. Mm -hmm. Which is why they could now come over to the Uda S mm -hmm. because they agreed with the democracy plan, mm -hmm. the secret treaty of Verona, mm -hmm. and all that to bury the Ottoman Empire mm -hmm. and lift up a Turkish Empire. Mm -hmm. No different than they buried the Moorish Empire mm -hmm. to lift up a British Empire. Mm -hmm. And then have all have these people going around the world acting like they are the authority. Mm -hmm. Right? Look at them good, because they're they're here. They've been here. <laughs> right? And I bet you if you go where you live Right? Mm -hmm. You go where you live, you're going to see some Turkish store. Right? Mm -hmm. You're going to see some store with some, you know, people looking like Turks in there in your community. 
making money off you. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it is a sin for any group of people to violate the constitutional laws of a free national government and cling to names that delude to slavery. Right? People think that when Noble Jawali says, what is meant by the word black? Black, according to science, means death. That he hates his people. Right? He loves them. If he's going to break that truth to you, mm -hmm. that you're not black, for real, you're not that. Right? Like he's revealing things to us. Mm -hmm. Right? But, but you're going you're, you're gonna to find 50% of the people, right? 50% of the people are not going to go with what he says. Mm -hmm. Right? 50% of the people aren't going to go with what he says. They're going to go do something else. Right? And that 50%'s job is to persuade everybody else to not be down with it either. Hmm. Not to have a mind of their own. Right? That's why Nobu Drali gave us the questions and the answer. You don't have to figure out and go search for nothing. Everything's right there. Question and the answer. Right? Mm -hmm. And then just like class today, right? <laughs> just like class today, it's called the one on one questionnaire. Mm -hmm. What's one on one mean? That's the beginning. All right. So this is the beginning. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the first into the cycle of 100. Right. Right? Which is 360 degrees. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So the cycle, 101, mm -hmm. is Nobu Juali mm -hmm. dealing with you mm -hmm. one on one. It's you and him. The one on one. One on one. And that, that's the divine truth. The truth is that this is the beginning. That's why it's so simple. It's not no long, you know what I mean? The book is this big because it's the beginning, right? Any questions? <laughs> Sorry. Is it 101? Yeah. Okay. All right then. So there you go. All right? So 101. Okay. So you dealt with you 100%. All right. He dealt with you 100%. Right. And now he's bringing you into the one right. of the 100%. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then when you got the Fez, you got the 360 degrees. Right. right? And then you got the one in the middle that you. the tassels attached to. Right. Which is you. Right? Right. So he knew what he was doing mm -hmm. when he did what he did. Even though people are going to criticize. You know what I mean? Misinterpret his teachings, mm -hmm. right? Try to make it seem like, you know, he's not the prophet. Mm -hmm. you no, know? and they do a good job at that mm -hmm. because they do deter people. You know what I mean? Like they do get people to say, yeah, how come Turks wear fezes and Moors wear fezes? Mm -hmm. But they don't know anything about the Ottoman Empire? Which, Osman Bey, mm -hmm. His nickname was Kara. And Kara means black jewel or something like mm -hmm. that. To those people. So it was a brother. Okay. Dark skin. Of course. Right? But why is it that people don't understand what Nobujuali brought? Because they don't read it for themselves. They always take somebody's interpretation of it. Mm -hmm. That's why all the master teachers, who you know are master teachers, one, they always give you a reference where they got their stuff from. Mm -hmm. And two, they always tell you, don't believe them. Okay. <laughs> you go check it out. Because you'll probably find 50 other more things that I never got a chance to find mm -hmm. that could yeah, validate a little bit more yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Right? I, the prophet, was prepared by the great God Allah to warn my people to repent from their sinful ways and go back 
to the state of mind of their forefathers divine and national principles that they will be law abiders and receive their divine right as citizen according to the free national constitution that was prepared for all free national beings right the oldest constitution is the United States of America mm -hmm. Constitution. Mm -hmm. The oldest treaty is the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, the most long-standing treaty. All right. Both those things having to do with Morocco, mm -hmm. which in 1700s mm -hmm. wasn't North Africa. Right. It was here. Mm -hmm. So we allowed them to come over here and chill, right. do whatever you want to do. Right. But you need to follow these rules and guidelines or whatever because we already have government here, so don't even try to come in mm -hmm. encroach or take over or here's your guidelines. Just make sure you follow this and you won't have any problems with anybody. What they did was right? they did exactly the opposite. Some of them mm -hmm. did exactly the opposite. Because not every European is down with put a nigger on a tree. Right? There there's many books, mm -hmm. right? Um Amazon, whatever, right? Talking about Europeans mm -hmm. that help quote unquote black people get out of slavery. Mm -hmm. At the risk of their own life. Mm -hmm. There's stories of Europeans getting stoned to death because they help some black person get out of slavery. Mm -hmm. So all of them aren't down with get us out of here mm -hmm. right some of them are in our favor and in this day and time mm -hmm. when you have King Alfred plan mm -hmm. right and King Alfred plan revealed that the minority includes whites mm -hmm. which, yeah. which Europeans yeah. poor whites you know poor, poor whites is a broad scale mm -hmm. Poor in our mentality and poor in their mentality is two different perspectives. Right? Poor in, in their mentality, that's middle class down. Mm -hmm. If you're not on the um, list of most rich people or whatever, mm -hmm. you're poor white right. to them. Right? I'm talking about people who have 60, 70, 80, 100, whatever thousand a year jobs. Mm -hmm. Right? That they're struggling. Mm -hmm. They can't pay their bills. And they have a good job. Pension sitting there waiting for them when they retire and all that. Mm -hmm. And they're getting the hell out of here. Going back to where they came from. Mm -hmm. Because they are not going to play the the they're not going to play the position of the nigger mm. when this thing crashes and he starts to liquidate all of his assets, mm. i.e. human resources. Mm. When he starts liquidating his human resources, certain people are going to have a nationality like they never knew what it was all of a sudden and go back where they came from. And they'll be allowed to do that. Right? Mm. But then as King Alfred plan breaks down to us, some people know that political asylum won't be available to them in other countries. Mm -hmm. Some people know that, but they still want to play, you know, they want to play the smart ass, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, well, I'm a slave and I came from Africa and you need to take me back, give me back my culture and mm -hmm. all that, right? They're going to play the stupid game mm -hmm. until, it's too late. until sure they're, they're lined up, yeah. going in the oven, which, you know, is going to be a vaporization chamber because... Yeah, they can't get rid of all the bodies. They're not going to be getting rid of all these 22 million Negro black colored people with furnaces mm -hmm. or jails. Like they're wiping people out. That's where they're going with it. Whether people want to accept that or believe that or whatever, that's on them. But if I have a military document, right, mm -hmm. and I've read it, mm -hmm. and in it it's talking about 
a past history mm -hmm. about these people called minority mm -hmm. in Europe mm -hmm. that this king's trying to get rid of mm -hmm. because they're not really the minority, they're the majority. Mm -hmm. And they realize that, you know, if we don't get rid of them, then we're, the <laughs> we're going to be the minority. Yeah. And nobody wants to be the minority mm -hmm. except you know, black colored people. And they'll be willing to be the minority, yeah, yeah. right? Even though there was a divine warning by the prophet for the nations mm -hmm. since 1913. But it does say for the nations. And Negro black colored, nation of gods and earths, nation of Islam, mm -hmm. nation of whatever they call themselves, mm -hmm. are nations. Those are organizations yeah, yeah. that were registered mm -hmm. that receive funding. funding tax benefits, whatever it is, from the same beast that they're telling their people, we're against them. Yeah. Watch out for them. Yeah. And the people, like sheep. sheep, sit there, right? So, we go back to what profit is. Yeah, yeah. They are to claim their own free national name and religion. Right? So that's the statement. You are to claim your free national name and your religion, right? What's my free national name and what's my religion should be the next question. And then we go right back again to the prophet. Where was Noble Drawley born? In the state of North Carolina, 1886. What is his nationality? Moorish American. What is your nationality? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish Americans? Because we are descendants of Moroccans born in America. For what purpose was the Moorish Science Temple of America founded? For the uplifting of fallen humanity. How did the Prophet begin to uplift the Moorish Americans? By teaching them to be themselves. What is your religion? Islamism. Is that a new or old time religion? Old time religion. So we go back again. They are to claim their own free national name and religion. Nobujali brought it to you, gave it to you. Nobujali, the prophet, that everybody, you know what I mean, wants to flap flap about. He's a mason and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Black doesn't mean death and all that. All those naysayers, all those bashers of their own prophet right had their nationality their free national name and their religion given to them by the prophet same thing that marcus garvey was complaining about that we need a religion how come we don't have a religion we need to pray our own god and all that type of stuff he's looking for a religion period nothing to not forget about about the 50 year 100 year plan that he made up that you know tony martin put out the little white book with the blue light writing Forget about all that. What's your nationality? If you have nationality, all that stuff that you're talking about, trade and commerce and going across the world and building back relations with, means jack. Jack. Doesn't mean a damn thing. That's why they were able to pick them up, deport them, do whatever they want with them, put them on the string and just mm -hmm. play the game with Garvey. Mm -hmm. While all the sellouts who were supposedly leaders behind him, no different than the prophet, mm -hmm. People who he, who he was administering, administering to, mm -hmm. right, did nothing about it. But March, picket, blah, 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 black game, got nowhere. I realize now I was riding by Ryerson and I saw they were having this, uh, I don't know more. Yeah. Uh, uh, like a little... Little, a little something <laughs> on the street uh, there. A lynching. <laughs> but, but I mean, the man was out there. Yeah, there was a little grouping of people, so I rode by, and I realized what this is all about is distraction. Yeah. It's distraction for the masses. Right? If we can have you concentrating over here about some stuff, then you're diverted from the prophet. From the real, from the real message and the real load. So you are diverted from the prophet. Right. That's how high we have to put him. Yeah. If you, if 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 you're if you care more about the Ravens winning the Super Bowl yes. than Noble Drawley, we're in for it. 
people don't even know what we're in for. You know what I found interesting though? Baltimore. Yeah. More, right? I, I thought to myself, something is up with that. And Ray Lewis, his number on his shirt was 52. Yeah, which is... 25. Right. So some of that so, to me, I felt... But, but, what, but then again, that's not football. No. That's not sit down for four hours, watch the game, eat chips, drink beer. That's right. That's... Oh, oh, his number's straight to, oh, All right, bam. And you go about your business. Well, you need to go pay attention to that for now. Right? Like, if you can get that out of just one player and the name of the team, mm -hmm. then what's this... What, what, like, what could they offer me? That's right. That's right. Like, what could yeah, they offer me? But what I was saying, it, it seemed to me... To that, must, that must be brainwash. Like, yeah. and mind control. And I agree with that, but to, to me, it sort of fit in very succinctly with the message of the day when Adisa was talking about that movie, right. which to me was yet again the way that I think it, uh, the brother who was here last week, uh, yeah, uh, Rashid, Rashid yeah, yeah. was talking about, because I think I made mention of this, about how within magic or sorcery, there had to be truth right. within the sorcery. Within the there has to be also a, a connection with the truth right. and with people going along with it. So what happens is we're mixing the truth with the lies, but we're also confusing you, but we're also putting, we're also getting our message right. in there, yeah. but we're also following by some of the, the structures that we have to follow by to not have the shit come back right, on right, us, that right. karma stuff. Exactly. Right. right? So right. that's how they're, this is, this is our year. Yeah. So we're going to let the more, right. the Baltimore so win. Right. Right, which is like you say, is really small stuff. But really, it's but cosmic stuff because it's all of that energy and, that goes behind and it. And it's, it's the, the ancestral forces that's right. Letting us know that, that no, that's right. the times that's now. That's right. But that's what I'm saying. It speaks to everyone at every level. Right? right. But, what, but why is this happening? Why is it that, that you know, you picked that up? Wow. Dude, I know there's more who didn't pick that up. I didn't pick that up. Right. That, that's just football. Like, I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Brick wall between me and football because it's not nothing of interesting. Right? But, you know, that's... That's more science. That's being a more scientist. Well, what also was interesting, right? because I had had to run, but I ended up catching the game. There was, I don't know if you heard, there was a, or you probably didn't hear. The blackout or whatever? The blackout, yeah, which, black which, was, which was for 33 minutes. Yeah. This was just at the time when Baltimore was 28-6, which they were go, they were going to blow this other team out, which yeah. to me, what I felt it represented, was because all of this is all about controlling people's minds. Right. At that point, the whole gambling structure was falling apart. Right. At that point, they had to shut the shit down <laughs> and retool yeah. and get us back onto right, right. the program, yeah. which made it a close game. Right, 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 right. Spending money, yeah, yeah, yeah. your energies are all right. So to me, yet again, we got everyone on a string. Yep. All right. So. Yep. Right. And that's, that's for the masses, because remember, this is what I realized. Right. Every even an unawakened more is still a more. Right. Exactly, and, and he still has a he or she still has a connection with the uh, information with, and, everything and with, 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 yeah. with the ethers. Right, so they all have to be in line with it. Right, yep. so that to me is why, even though it is something not to be followed by, even though unawakened moors still have an, an energy system connected with this, right. and they have to be in line with it. So we have to sort of still, because I think this is our year. Yeah. I know it's our year. Yeah, yeah. And what I realize is they have to give the Moors, the Balta Moors. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking to Google that to figure out what Balt, because there has yeah, to be yeah, some connection with the Moors. Yeah, that's the, you know, that's right. the homework. Right. So, <laughs> you know, next week. Well, that's right. Sunday. So maybe, oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so that's what I have to get on. Right. Um, but yeah, so go on. You know? No, but, but that this is where we have to go. This is the direction that we mm -hmm. can't just look at things face value. That's right. You know what I mean? There's, there, that's not a wall. You know, there's but that's there what I realized behind that wall. But that's what I realized they do. They get you focused on the wall, not what's behind the wall. Right. 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 Okay. Um, there is but one issue for them to be recognized by this government and of the earth, and it comes only through the connection of the Moorish Divine and National Movement, which is incorporated in this government and recognized by all other nations of the world, and through it, they and their children can receive their divine rights unmolested by other citizens that they can cast a free national ballot at the polls under the th free national constitution of the state's government and not under a granted privilege as has been the existing condition for many generations. 
So for many generations, we've had this existing condition of getting something under a granted privilege mm -hmm. and thinking that that was ours and the way it should be. When you're supposed to claim your own free national name, you're just like the Django, mm -hmm. right? You're supposed to put your own fez on and, you know, you can't ride in the, uh, in the next man's saddle like Brother Adiza said. Mm -hmm. You have to ride in your own saddle. You're not riding in somebody else's saddle, mm -hmm. you know? That's like you use, uh, you know, a, a, a swordsman using somebody else's sword. Mm -hmm. If you're a swordsman, you're supposed to have your own sword that you master, mm -hmm. right? You who doubt whether I, the prophet, and my principles are right for the redemption of my people, go to those that know law in City Hall and among the officials in your government and ask them under an intelligent tone and they will be glad to render you a favorable reply for they are glad to see me bring you out of darkness mm -hmm. into light mm -hmm. that's a metaphysical statement grand metaphysical statement that he's making that he's bringing us out of darkness into the light right he's taking us from that plane of horizontal mm -hmm. to living perpendicular how you know you're living perpendicular because when you look down you realize that you're standing on a square right so if you, if you look down and you realize you're not standing mm -hmm. if you know, don't worry you come back again next time your time's done you didn't do what you're supposed to do or you did what you're supposed to do get the hell out of here go do something on a higher plane which is why Nobu Juali was born in 1886 and could get assassinated in 1929 and we talk about that that if he's a prophet he knows he knew what was gonna happen there's people today that that do astrological readings whatever they read their chart they know when they're gonna die so they know what they gotta do right well what what's the what's this this is universal right mm -hmm. everybody knows about the broken the broken circle or the mundane cross mm -hmm. everybody knows about it right the quote-unquote religious people know about it because it's a cross right there right the natives know about it because they're just tie some feathers right here and tie a feather right here and then call it what they call it right the Nazis are going to take this turn, it, turn, turn these out of the way and, right and they're going to make something mm -hmm. it's all a circle it's all that's all that's what it's all about right that cycle so if we have this right if we have this Nobudrali said the Holy Quran of the Morris Science Temple of America right divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali and you're gonna listen to these jackasses talking about this is a plagiarization of the Aquarian gospel when there's chapters in this book that aren't in the Aquarian gospel what are they doing that for? Oh, same, Sa same, same behavior. More different than TV, right. internet, freaking messages splashing up on your thing, divert your attention. You ever notice when you're in real intense study, something always happens? Yeah. Phone ring. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Something yeah. always, always happens. Yeah. Right when you're getting to the part where oh, it's going to kick off right now, something happens. Like they know something. I sense right. that what it is is it's because of this energy control system. They know it was like as I said, watching that same Super Bowl. There was an energy going on there. That right. They had to stop at that point. Once you pick up on it, that's right. You know you. Yeah. But I think where I think I think you're right is that as long as we are on our square, we can control that energy. But the problem is, is that we've given our we've given that over to them. The, 
it's not even necessary that we gay because we have it too. Well, that's right. But we so just don't know how to. You, 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 we you don't. Want, we don't want to be wizards yes. and sorcerers. That's right. We want to be, you know, conscious guys yeah, yeah. that you know we just. We see what they wear, done, what they done, done, but we don't want to do with the science. We don't want to what they done is they, light candles and all that. What they've done is they have, that's they, have, they have made that negative, right, to us, right, and then they've taken it. Then they've taken it, and now they're controlling it. That's right. Controlling everything. That's right. With this, with the science that we gave them. That's right. I told you when I went to look in the library for astrology. Yeah. Under there, they had no books on astrology. For real. None. They had death. Had all these books oh, under death. astrology. Under astrology, because yeah. I was looking, because under I've well, got the psychology of astrology. Right, right, right. Let me go do some research. Right, right. Went to the library. <laughs> they're like, we don't have much. So I went. They had nothing. All they had were these books on death and all this stuff. And I said, wait a minute. So if I was just a layman here and I was coming to look for this, yeah. I would then be connecting, You'd be connecting astrology, astrology with, with death. death, and then you run for it, right? But you know, comes back to the same thing. How is it that you you know? A layman won't pick that up. A layman would literally go there. Oh, astrology. Oh, okay. Oh, death books. So oh, I guess. And, I, I and, and, and that and that will just that that'll that be their last experience, right. or last time that they mess with astrology, right? But they celebrate their birthday every year. That's right. <laughs> they celebrate Christmas and New Year's and all these astrological things, and they go plant gardens or whatever, right. which is based on astrology, and the farmers' almanac yeah. go plant crops. But they won't. You know, astrology was death when I went to Indigo Bookstore, so I'm not gonna mess with astrology books, right? Money doesn't make the man. It is free national standards and power that makes a man and nation, right? It is free national standards and power that makes a man and nation, right? Now, when we say that Noble Juali was and is mastermind when he spoke, right? So for us to really understand what makes a man, right? We're gonna we have the divine warning, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna relate that to the circle seven, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So we can be clear in our mind mm -hmm. what makes the man if money doesn't do it, okay. right? So the the it says the money doesn't make the man. It is free national standards and power that makes a man a nation. All right. Free national standards. Yep. And power. and power. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go to chapter seven. Right. The friendship of Jesus and Lamas. Jesus explains to Lamas the meaning of truth. Right. And art. Right. Now this is chapter seven. Chapter seven. Chapter yeah. and seven is written in Roman numerals. Right. V two. Right. Which is five and two. Which is five and two. Right? Two is the second principle. Right. Which is truth. And then this is the chapter dealing with truth. Alright. And what truth is. What's the first what was the first principle? Love. Love. Love truth. Right. Okay. Right? Love truth. This is how heavy the prophet is. This is how heavy he laid down everything that people want to reject it and want to say that he's a mason and he didn't know what he was talking about, right? So remember what we were talking about, though. National, nationality. Free national standards and, pow and power. And power. Right. Makes a man and a nation. And Jesus said, man is the truth and falsehood strangely mixed. So you were talking about earlier, you know, just the mixing of, you know, trying to be free. Mm -hmm. But then getting caught up in the, the thing that you're trying to free yourself from while you're trying to be free. Because this there's a strange mixture that's going on. Mm -hmm. Right? Man is the breath made flesh. So truth and falsehood are co-joined in him. And they strive and not goes down and man as truth abides. Again, Lamas asks, what do you say of power? Right? And Jesus said, it is a manifest is the result of force it is but not it is illusion nothing more That's power, power. All right. forces changes not but power changes as the ethers change right. right so we'll go back again 
And Jesus said, or Lamas asked, what do you say of power? Right. Now, if Noble Drawley is writing this down, right. right, that means that he means what he put down on, in the book. Right. And it says, it is a manifest, is the result of force. It is but not, it is illusion, nothing more. Forces changes not, but power changes as the ethers change. Which is the right. Which is the spirit realm. Right. Okay. Right. Money doesn't make a man, make the man. It is free national standards and power that makes a man. Right. Now, if he's teaching us in the circle seven to listen to the good prophet Jesus, mm -hmm. right? And Jesus is teaching that power is a manifest and it is but not and it is an illusion mm -hmm. then that means power can't make the man so it, power has to be omitted because it's an illusion and it's gonna f and it's gonna pass away so then it's not that it's true national standards free national standards is what makes the man because power is an illusion right, right? And, and there it is so it comes back to the same thing. When we go back to the one-on-one, -on -one, the prophet dealing with us one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. What is his nationality? Moorish American. Right. What's your nationality? Moorish American. Why are we Moorish Americans? Because we are descendants of Moroccans born in America. Right? Now we're going to skip ahead to find out about why would we be Moroccans born in America? Like Morocco is supposed to be North Africa. Mm -hmm. So how is it that, you know, like we're talking about Moroccans, but then he's relating that to America? Because what was the nationality of Ruth? Ruth was a Moabitess. Mm -hmm. What is the modern name for Moabites? More. Moroccans. Where is the Moroccan Empire? Northwest Amexum. What is the modern name for Amexum? Africa. Mm -hmm. Which is here. Which is here. Right. Right. So because Ruth was a Moabitess and Moabitesses are Moabites mm -hmm. from Moab. Mm -hmm. The modern name of them is Moroccans, right? So the, the Moabites, whose modern name is Moroccans, mm -hmm. are the ones that with their Hittite and Canaanite and Amorite brethren mm -hmm. got permission from the pharaohs of Egypt mm -hmm. to come over and then go across the Great Atlantic and come into this the land. The Moabites was a matriarchal society, right? and when that fell, they passed it on to their son, right? Which, is a, which created the patriarchal society, right? And it was that society that became the Moors, right? Right. That's what I understand. And and that's right. Right. And then we're here today now, right? Wondering who are we? I wanted to show you this. I was working out at the gym today, and the government of Ontario. Have you ever seen that three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's so. But then I remember seeing a truck drive by one time and they have something called the trillium. I don't right. know if you've seen yeah. the trillium. Yeah, the trillium, yeah, yeah. Which is trillium the two of those things. Right. Which is the up but really yeah, the one up and the one down. But really what that is is just yeah. the star of David. Right. But what the Ontario government deals with is the lower star. Right. Which is the, the lower one star. That's which is the lower star. Which, right. is, which is the lower plane, which right. is just as powerful as the upper one. Yeah. But I think that's the one that has most of us caught because we don't understand that while well, they've been able to at least that's our connection the right. spirit one comes from above from above the one on the ground is the one that's that's uh, is the one in the flesh right. which is catching us right. all this is symbiology exactly that's all it comes down to that's why i looked at that and i said what and then i realized that i'd seen this trillium sign and i realized that what it was was just the star of david right. put it in a put, put in a in, in a, a different it, form to, to know, sort of but yeah, it's all yeah. about Divert your attention away from where you're supposed to be focusing on. And again, you know, it because you're dealing with more science right. from a mental perspective, right. not a card or a fez or a, you know, a, 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 
a book or whatever, right? right? You're dealing with it from an inter you're internalizing mm -hmm. things, right? Mm -hmm. Things are going to be revealed to you, okay. right? And it's simple. Everybody should be on what Noble Draw Lee brought. Everybody should be on it first, and then go talk about whatever you want to talk about, right. right? That should be the first thing. It's funny. They what got every, brought. It's funny they got everyone up in church praying for stuff, and then going out there. But they're really idolizing a false prophet. Yeah. Under that, yet when it comes to noble ju noble jewelry, no one wants to talk about it. And they call him the false prophet. They call him the false prophet. <laughs> right. And then uplift all these other people. That's right. And who are the false prophets? prophets. We talk about not really about getting their right to travel and all this right. kind of stuff that really is the secondary part. Exactly. To what it really so should that's, be. That's probably like 80th dairy. That's right. <laughs> the right that's to right. travel. That's right. We also want stuff to do before we exercise right. the right to travel. That's right. But, you know, people get into this and then they get anxious. But based but on really, what you were saying. It's really about the fact that they really want to keep conducting their business right. in this in, in, in this fraud. <laughs> there <you> go. <laughs> right. Right. The wealth of all national governments, gold and silver and commerce, belong to the citizens alone. And without your national citizenship, by name and principles, you have no true wealth. And I am hereby calling on all true citizens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? I'm hereby calling on all true citizens. Mm -hmm. Is it corporate citizens, persons? whatever true citizens citizens who have a nationality right that are hearing this because this is for the nations plural this isn't for the moors or for you know the black people or the conscious moors or the moors who have nationality card with affairs and mm -hmm. that go to all their temple meetings this is for the nations mm -hmm. and if you talk to everybody on the planet if you ask them, you ever heard about the prophet? They're never going to say, prophet who? They're just going to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go try it. Go go to some of these stores out here mm -hmm. and just ask them, you ever heard about the prophet? Yeah. Automatically. Is it the same prophet? Prophets are universal. Ah. Principles don't yeah, change yeah, or pass yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. To people who have free national standards That's and right. common sense. Right. If you talk about one, you're talking about all of them. But people who want to take ownership on stuff, right? Well, they want to, they want to own that to, to make a profit off of it. Profit. Yeah, exactly. They want to own the profit to make a profit off the profit. Wow. And majority of that is people who are high up, that are administ that are supposed to be administering the lessons. The other people are just following like sheep because they don't know any better. But ignorance is no excuse, so slap you in the face and don't even tell me about I didn't know. Well, I didn't know about Nobu Juali. That's your problem. You should have. You know about Marcus Garvey, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know about Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. You know about Fraud Muhammad. Mm -hmm. You know about Wesley Muhammad. Okay. You know about Ben Johnson, okay. Vince Carter, right. LeBron James, yeah, yeah. Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. You know, but you don't know about yeah, yeah. Raleigh. All right, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. And if you did hear about them, but now you're not talking about them because it doesn't. You know, cool it doesn't. Though. It's not cool to talk about because they wear the funny hats and you know Masons wear those hats and they're trying to take over the world and. Uh, but Jay Z's your favorite rapper. He does this, which is Masonic. You're not running from him. <laughs> right? Yeah. This is the brainwash that we're under. Yeah. Well, no, no, we. You know, no, I know. Right? We in general, right? Um, so calling on all true citizens that stand for national free government and the enforcement of the Constitution to help me in my great missionary work because I need all support from all true American citizens. Hmm. So now, so... First, he talks about true citizens. True citizens. Now, he's, now he's asking for help from and support from all true American yeah. citizens of the United States of America. Hmm. So, all true American citizens mean people from Peru, mm -hmm. 
all the way up. All the way up to Alaska. Like, yeah, yeah. true American citizens. And majority of those people look just like the prophet when the prophet was talking. Right? Help me to serve my people who have fallen from the constitutional laws of the government. I am depending on your support to get them back to the constitutional fold again. So that means we were in it. Mm -hmm. He wants to get us back in Into again. Yeah. So that means we were already part right. of what he's talking about. Right. And for some strange reason, we fell out of that position. Right? That's why the, 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 um, the repetitive theme is proclaim, mm -hmm. claim, declare because you have to do it for yourself basically what he realizes is we're such a hardy people that he just has to keep hammering this shit into us that's what because, it comes down to because we, we're not listening we never do but put that let us be looking at the point of that sword and All we'll switch up yeah. quick fast yeah. quick fast like you say you're getting yourself into trouble yeah with one of these, you know let, one let of these with one of these beasts out here, all of a sudden Let, you want to... Yeah, now you want to get on yeah. birthrights now. Yeah. Now that you have $10,000 suit yeah. from some corporate Thank agency you. Right. that you know is a corporate agency, but clear. you didn't study. You want to listen to some people who call themselves free man mm -hmm. and sovereign citizen because, you know, you know, they're not saying you have to come to your meetings and pay dues every month and whatever. They're just saying, come to this lecture, pay 50, and you know we'll just put it on this PowerPoint for you. Now, you don't have to study for yourself. When Noble Drawley said, study, 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 because you're the only one that's going to save yourself. Don't think these guys with their fancy presentations and you stream and all that are going to save you. You better get hit the books. Like that's the only way and, and, and hit the book starts with the prophet first right. and digesting everything that he brought because what he brought the book that he brought is like this big he has a book that, that's how the, these little books right here right. just these two alone circle 7 101 mm -hmm. these two books are this big don't be fooled by signs you're there are books like that no that, that I'm saying that that's that's how we have to look at these books. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 right? Yeah, these are just keys to... These are keys to doors. Reference points. Reference yeah. points. Sorry, the, yeah. Yeah, that, that will open up. That's why I said this big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how much information we really have to be on. But he's just hopefully giving us the first chapter, so to speak, over this. One on one. One on one. Beginning. One on one. Beginning. For the rest of it, you know, I mean, he basically gave us our black belt. All right. You go do whatever you want to do right. because you're qualified now to go do go something. Learn. Go right. learn. Right? So he was depending on your support to get them back to the constitutional fold again that they will learn to love instead of hate and will live according to love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice supporting our free national constitution of the United States of America. I love my people and I desire their unity and mine back to their own free national and divine standard because day by day this is since 1913 since 1913 day by day they have been violating the national and constitutional laws of their government. They have been, which is us. We, we have, have been violating our own laws. Our own laws. Right. But this has been done by sorcery, in a sense. So on, a, on a certain level, or at least some people have tried to put a little bit of smoke out there, and we have been very confused by that smoke. Is that, is that, that's part of what I right. sense, right? You know. 
but I'm not saying we were, we're right. taught. Yeah, I'm not saying we were right. I'm just saying that we were taught we were, to. We were trained right. to, to, to to look over here. Right. But the reality behind it is, this is still our government. Right. And all we have to do is step in and take and take claim initiative it. and claim it. And not click, you know. And, and then when people think government, automatically in their mind, it. Well, what do you mean? They're not just gonna get up off of the seat in the building and have us sit there. Right. Uh, what are you talking about? Right. Government's not a building. That's right. Government's right here. Government's the people. Like, what are you talking about? Right. Going to a building and all this. But that's part of that sorcery that, the, I, that, that that stuff that I'm realizing. Right? They put stuff on TV. They put a, a seat above you, and all of a sudden, you you sort of that's that's some of the training that I think we have to break out of. Right. Yep. So but then that's what Jolly said. Repent from their sinful ways and go back to the state of mind of their forefathers, divine and national principles. It's not hard. hard. We just have to trust what the prophet brought, right? As well, I think the most important thing out of that statement that you just made there is actually trusting and going back to our ancient forefathers yeah. and foremothers. That's that I think is one of the most powerful see, spells the that they like, have disconnected us from. Right, but again, that's not something that we have. Other people are doing that. Of course they are. Like other people are going back to the state of mind of our ancient foremothers yeah, and forefathers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right around us every day. Yeah. Like there, there's other people that are getting on our information. That's ours. That's right. And they're being prosperous around us with our information that we gave to them. And we're not going to step, up, and step up when when they're actually waiting for us to step up. They're, they know that they're just playing custodian and they're just holding it for right now. I think it must be very disturbing for them too because there's only one way for this to work and that's for us to reclaim ourselves. That's it. Because they right now are committing a fraud, which sooner than later, whether it's us or Allah, this is all going to fall. We're right? talking about these ones on Sunday. We're talking about these ones. Right? Wow. Okay? They know what is up. Wow. They know. Wow. This is common knowledge to people. Wow. That this is a Moroccan government. This is not a United Dot States wow. European corporation. This is an empire. Everybody knows this. They have the flags wow. the same way that the Moors have the flags up in the temple. Hmm. That's it. That they have the they have the That's flag right just there. like how the Moors have it in the temple. That's it right there. They're claiming that they're the Moorish Science Temple. And Moors are sitting down. Wow. That is it right there. Right? They're yeah. claiming that they're the Moors Science Temple of America. That is it right the there. The Moors Divine and National Movement. Forget U.S. Congress and all that. They're claiming to be the, the Regency. Reason, the reason why that is, though, is because they cannot go ahead on a fraud. So they have to claim. They have to claim. They have to claim. Look, at, look, look, look at what they're dropping. That's it. This is Hillary Clinton. But you, know, to, like, but, you know, but you know what's interesting? Like, you know, if you were to sort of think about, you pick up, you know, how you would see CP24 or any yeah. of these news, you would never see these images. Yeah. You would never see these images. They're short, but they're short. Yes. Yeah, right. Well, but that, they, know, <laughs> they know that stuff plays on your mind, too. You, you would only see that for. And I'll tell you this you wouldn't see that on the common TV. Right. Right? You may see that on one of these things where you get on the internet. I think what they did was when they when they showed it on TV, I think they showed it like, yeah, they would have closed in on. Yeah, no, like, watch like, it. Showed it like. Let me explain know. this to you. Look at the, the placement of the flags with where the people are. So when you were to be focusing on the people right. close up, right, the, what, 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 what are they behind them? Right, 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 right. And that right. would be that's the sorcery right there, right, right. Because if they were it's closing on what she's saying, mm -hmm. you would just see the American you flag. You would not saying. even know what's going on. That's right, right. That's what I'm saying. That's right. why I tell right. you that what would happen is they'd say Hillary Clinton speaking from here, and you'd see the American flag. Look at right. well, look at where both of them are, <laughs> are sitting behind. Yeah, both you of them are sitting behind the behind the flag. The flag. Yeah. Yep. 
That's crazy, right? That's crazy. And then this is the, in the Ben Franklin room. That's crazy. Who's really Benjamin Banneker? And Ben Franklin is, you know, pseudo name. No, right there, it's the flags that you realize. That's how they got around us, eh? This is master sort of movie making. Yeah. How are we yeah. going to do this? We have to. We, we have, have to. Have, to have, we have to have it so the people in the room will see. Right. You know, you and I would never be in that room. Right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. So you'd have right. all your boys in that you have room. Your boys. And you know, anyone from the watching. You feel me? You crop in close on right. the right. Crop right. in close on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Follow the rules. You know, or we're black with you. Well, you know this. You would never get anywhere else, right? That photo would never be released. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> right? Wow. And, and all this is just online. It's just info that's out there, right? right? Taj and them been talking about this for the past two years or right. whatever, right? Okay. Since it dropped. Okay. You know? And things just take long to register because of the brainwash. Well, also, but this right? is why, I, oh, sorry to interrupt, this is what I was talking to you about, this internet stuff, which yeah. is the fact that it still, to me, is a control system, right? Mm -hmm. That stuff's out on print, and it's out there. Much yeah. harder to control than in a system like this, but go on. Yeah. Uh, maybe not as well. Here's the other one. This is another one. Wow. So this is Barack and Hillary Clinton. Barack and um, Michelle. Yeah. Right? And then, say, same same scene as the Morris Science Temple of America, Morris Divine National Movement. Mm -hmm. You have the Moroccan flag. And then you have the Amity flag. Wow. I mean, and you'd realize there must be some even symbiology behind how the flags are on, what side they're right. on. What side they're on. You know, or how they're holding them with yep. the right, you know, all that stuff is all important to, to all of this stuff mm -hmm. that we don't really know, right? Right. Wow. Look at your black president with the Moroccan flag. Right. In America, right. This is in America. I have no doubt, <laughs> right? At this point, and they have the Moroccan flag, right there. Okay. And then more tell people that that's their flag, and then people are like, oh no, that's not a flag. That's not our flag. That's the Arab flag. Well, that's just all the disinformation right? that they have. Wow, going in on them. Back to the prophet. If Italians, oh, let us read this apart again. I love my people and I desire their unity and mine back to their own free national and divine standard because day by day they have been violating the national and constitutional laws of their government by claiming names and principles that are unconstitutional. If Italians, Greeks, English, Chinese, Japanese, Turks, and Arabians are forced to proclaim their free national name and religion, before the constitutional government of the United States of America, it is no more than right that the law should be enforced upon all other American citizens alike. So if all these foreigners could come over here, and they have to say, my free national name is Italian. And then they become Italian American when they come here. And then the Chinese guy comes and he says, I'm Chinese. And then you become Chinese American, and then they have their little corner. They can build up whatever they want to do. They can change the language and in, in the buildings and all that stuff because That's free right. national name. That's right. The Greeks come, That's right? Chinese in America, and and this is perfect. This is perfect because a lot of these nations that are mentioned, right? There's splinters of them as well of right and we get majority of them so we can see you know like the we can see the the um, the, whole, the, 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 the whole, whole tapestry yeah. yeah we can see the whole horizon yeah. of all these people coming over here right, right? after us right because we've been here right right we know we've been here right. why are they, it's, it's, why it's they the, leaving their place it's the month right and you know we've been here right as far as in quote unquote Canada, right? right. The history of us in Canada is, you know, extensive. Right. right? Okay. These people come here from somewhere else. Right. They have their own little town. Like Greek town, oh, yeah, Italian yeah. town, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinatown, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turk town, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. It, especially in Toronto. Yeah, yeah, you know, There's these little pockets of yeah, all Scandinavian yeah, town, yeah, yeah. Slavic town, yeah. 
Yo, everybody has yeah, 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 little, 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 little jurisdiction. Yeah. But then when you talk about these Negro black colored people out here, mm -hmm. all they have is Jamie Finch, Feminine it. Park, Oakwood, Vaughn. Yeah. You know, like they don't have anything that's Some organically that's theirs. theirs. That's right. And they've been here the longest. That's right. We should have everything here. And then all those people should be written from us because we were here first. Not first in the sense of, you know, like, yeah, yeah. brought here first. Yeah, yeah. Like, we were here first. Yeah. So yeah. what what happened to all of our stuff that we had, right? Because right? we were here first. We had to have stuff. There had to be cities, towns, buildings, you know, trains running, you know, horse carriage, taxi service, whatever, infrastructure. There had to be stuff going on here. Right. There had to be things built up already here. Right. If we were here already right. for 50,000 years. It's not just grasslands and you have these idiots in, in the in the nation of Islam listening to Fard yeah. talking about, oh yeah, you know, the wilderness of North America and crap like that. Like this is some barren land. There's not no barren land. Matter of fact, huh. right, because divine warning is something where we can't go, like we have to deal with it in parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's like, th this is the foundation uh, yeah. of the movement mm -hmm. and what the job is, what we're supposed to do, where we're supposed to go, how our interaction is supposed to be with other people, how they're going to perceive us based on how we approach that. Like, everything's in the divine warning for the prophet, mm -hmm. right? But, because I went over time dealing with that mm -hmm. because there's other crap that we have to deal with because of people bashing noble drawings. The dirty moors? Yeah, the dirty, dirty okay, moors. So, so this was divine warning. Right. By the prophet for the nations yes. and then divine warning for the dirty moors. Okay. Right? So we're going to go mm -hmm. to this book that I, I just remembered that I had at my house. Right? I was at my house and I'm like, I was watching some YouTube and I was getting agitated. Okay. Right? Okay. Because the audacity of some people. All right. And I was like, <laughs> these guys. <laughs> these guys. Okay. Like they know what's up. Yeah, that's what you see. Yo, they know. It's not like they you know don't what, know. You know what they, they know what's up. Like huh? they say, ignorance would be one thing, but to actually know, to know and then to be and still to, to, to the wrong way, somebody in another that, direction. That's a different side. Of, that's a you different know, level of evil. And everybody wants to be these guys' friend. Right. Everybody so wants to be friends with these guys. Out. And right, so we're gonna. Okay. I found this book at my house. Right. Reparations equals war. What will free and unite black people? The nationality, lineage, government, and history of the indigenous black aboriginal people in America. Well, I just wanted to, before you get onto that, it was very interesting. I got some change, and I was trying to put some change into the laundry machine, and one of these quarters wouldn't go in. Yeah. I got a quarter. That happened to me with a loony the other day. But it said, it said a Chickasaw. It said Chickasaw. Chickasaw. Of course, you still have that? I still have it at home. Yeah, hold that. It's, <laughs> hold a that. Chicka, it's a Chickasaw on it. Hold that. And it's a 2011, and it said hold not that. 25 cents. It's a quarter dollar. So I'll bring it to you yeah. on Sunday. Yeah, but yeah, I, it, was, it wasn't going in. Right. And I look at, and it's a Chickasaw. Probably it was it bigger than a quarter? It's it must be just thicker, a little bit thicker. thicker. And what I've noticed with the yeah, American yeah. coins is that they're made out of silver. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a content of silver, silver yeah, in it. Yeah. You can hear the way it yeah, drops. Yeah, when it drops, right. right. That's the best and just, test. And then drop test. another thing that just to drop before you go on, they're collecting the penny now. Right. And I think, remember we talked about this, how the penny yeah. or the dollar was what basically all of our sort of industry was based on? Because back in the day, you know, pennies were... Like, you know, a penny you could go and buy. You know, uh, uh, you know, a uh, thing of wheat for a penny. Yeah, yeah. They're bringing the, they're taking the penny out. You know why? Because the penny cost a dollar six. <laughs> no, no, the penny cost a, a one point six <laughs> cents to make, but it's only, it's only value is a dollar. So I thought well, to myself, uh, this is the government in <laughs> trouble again. Yeah. Yeah, because that used to mean something. Right, the penny right. used to mean used to, to have a, a basis. Right, right. But we've got to take all the real currency out. Yeah. We used to even have a little bit of, of copper in that. Right, right. But now we no, realize that. Just, well, now we realize that the penny, the penny that was at one, really cost us a dollar six. Yeah. You can't have you having. <laughs> yeah. You can't have you having that. So I say to everyone online, collect your pennies. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> sooner or later. Because anyway, so go on with that. <laughs> but I'll bring that coin in for you. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go to page forty-eight. <clears throat> this is interesting, right? The reason why I pulled out this book mm -hmm. just so because 
this brother has a a good um, maybe a half hour or something like that about Noble Jolly Unmasked on YouTube. Okay. Right? Okay. I, that, you know, just Unmasked. This is the same author. Unmasked? Unmasked. Like, like sort of like revealing him. him. The, the truth about Noble Jolly is a fraud or whatever. But inter Oh, he's a fraud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But also... He doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, also, the cover of that book also says it all there too, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's black, indigenous, yeah, all of yeah, that stuff yeah, is yeah. all in Not mention Mars, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, well, and, but he's also got the... The, 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 yeah, the, 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 sorry, the, the great seal, yeah, 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 right, which, you know, is upside down, it's circle seven, right, so this is really a circle seven, and as you can see where, how the writing is, the writing delineates, yeah, the, 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 the right, the honest thing is, right, right. Those, are, those are the yeah. gates, right, 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 right. Go on. okay, Black people in general, this is um, page 48, Islam's first redeemer in America. Islam's first redeemer in America, okay. Yeah, right? Noble Jawali. Prophet Noble Jawali. Mm -hmm. Qualify. Black people in general have not learned the most applicable truths of their greatest leaders, which means that most of us have missed our nation's greatest blessing. How many of us have ever known the man pictured above, Noble Juali? Just get you up. So there's, there's the prophet, so we can get him on. Do we know why? Is it the same reason why historically black colleges will never teach independent city planning, military warfare, and independent law for black people? A great part of Noble Juali's mission deals with law and government. The works of Noble Juali and the Moorish Americans of the Moorish Science Temple of America and the work of reintroducing black people to our historical indigenous Islamic legacy, bringing the idea of nationalizing us as a nation under a new status and citizenship, beginning the process of informing us of our domicile, Islamic history here in the Americas, a Mexum, and throughout the world, was and is a profound work that is directly related to the subject of reparations slash restoration. This gives us much more to discuss in regard to Islam's true connection to United States and international government, religion, and the general and specific histories that will play an important role in the next few years of the most event-altering period in history. The public school curriculums and even the Black History Month fanfare of the United States educational system do not teach of Noble Juali and the great work associated with the Moorish history in America. Why? Is it in any way connected to the present war on terror? Let's see, if, let's see if the black man practicing the high spiritual science of Islam is a threat to the corrupt governmental establishment in the United States. In his Holy Quran, Circle 7, Ali states his sole purpose. The more science temple of America deriving its power and authority from the great Quran of Muhammad to propagate the faith and extend the learning and truth of the great prophet of Ali in America, to appoint and consecrate missionaries of the prophet and to establish the faith of Muhammad in America. This man plays a very important role in history. He is the first, first teacher of the original faith. Oh, sorry, he is the first, the first teacher of the original faith, God's faith. In, quote, in brackets, religion, that all time religion, religion, submission to the will of Allah, God, which is called by many names. However, in Arabic, we say Islam. He brought this truth back to the true house of Israel, the descendants of the family of Amran, Abraham. This is who we, black people in America, are referred to as in the third surah of the Quran. So he's making a clear distinction between Noble Juali's Quran. Quran and 
the Q. Quran. Quran. It is my collect contention that Noble Juali and his family, along with the mass amounts of our people, are key links of study in regard to our divine lineage from the 18th dynasty of Egypt, Moorish Israel. He was a descendant of a man named Yusuf bin Ali, a black man from Morocco, who was a Moorish Muslim national who lived in America. Yusuf bin Ali and his son York were instrumental in activity with Lewis and Clark and the expansion of white people's knowledge of the western frontier in America during the 1800s. Nobu father and mother also play a very important role in respect to this subject of American jurisprudence, land, and our ancient indigenous history. This is covered in chapter X. Chapter X. Chapter X, Masonry and the Reemergence of Islam among the original, amongst the original people in America. And we go to page 151. Mm -hmm. So this is the Nobu Juali Basher. This is his book mm -hmm. that he put up mm -hmm. prior to him starting to bash the Prophet. Oh, I said prior. Yeah. This, sound, is, this yeah, all this, sounded pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is pretty good. This is real good. Right. This is one of the most precise um, sort of, uh, and, and um, in-depth, yeah, yeah. concise yeah. writings yeah, about Nobu Juali and his family and yeah. where it came from, yeah, with yeah. references to back everything up. Yeah, yeah. The Basher. Okay. Right? The family and the ancestors of Nobu Juali play an important part in this discussion on masonry, indigenous blacks, lands of indigenous blacks, and Islam. Noble Juali was born with the name Timothy Drew. There has been much speculation about him, his doctrine, the origins of it, and why he is so mysterious. As we stated earlier, the Cherokee having an amazing history in North Carolina, that is very ancient. We have documented ancient inscriptions connecting them to black Moorish Israelites that were coming to America in the first century AD. Hmm. So coming the, to where? America. Okay, go on. The Cherokees play a vital role in the activity of the Civil War. As an internal war erupted inside of the Cherokee nation during the 1800s over the issue of slavery. It was the mixed bloods and whites who fought against the full bloods, blacks, over this issue. It led to the breakup of the nation and the entire military regiments joining the North to fight for their lands and status. Nobu Juali's father was a part of this fight. His name was John Drew. He was a, co a colonel of the 1st Regiment of the Cherokee Mounted Rifles. He was a freedman. There are different histories given about him. There are not many written accounts of him after the Civil War. There is an account stated in a book called, I'll write this one down, The Cherokee Freedmen from Emancipation to American Citizenship. By Daniel F. Littlefield Jr. In speaking on the personal life of the Cherokee and the freedman amongst them, Littlefield records In 1878, freedman John Drew, for instance, showed the best draft stallion at the Indian International Fair held at Muskogee. And then there's a reference, right? And then it gives you the reference of the Cherokee freedmen from emancipation to American citizenship by Daniel F. Littlefield Jr., page 60, the Cherokee Advocate, October 19th, 
1878, May 19th, 1880, June 15th, December 2nd, 1881, Afro-American Advocate, May 6th, 1892. What would draw reference points? What were those reference points? That was just the I guess it was um ads or something like that. Or something like it that? was like ads okay. in, in, in a in a newspaper oh, or whatever. Okay. So, so those are the pictures yeah, yeah. that they took out of okay. what edition of the paper okay. or whatever, so right? Noah Jolie's mother also plays an important role in this history. She was part of a landmark court case of freed men and women who run lands in Louisiana that belonged to their ancestor of theirs. The court case, the United States versus the heirs of Henry Tonika Turner, case 32, United States Appellate Court in 1850, was an appeal to an earlier case won by the heirs of Henry Tonika called the heirs of Henry Tamika Turner versus the United States case, 191. In the first court case, the heirs of Henry Tamika won land in Louisiana. Among them was Eliza Tamika and John Whitman, a.k.a. John Drew. The case dealt with land left by the Marquis de Maison Rouge to his son, by a black woman named Annie Marie. The Turners won the case. The United States appealed the case and lost. This occurred in 1850 and was also one of the events that was a precursor to the Civil War. Hmm. We're going to go back and read this part, page 51, the wisdom of God, the masters, Fard Muhammad and Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. A lot has been said, but little understood of the man in this picture. One of the names he used was Master Fard Muhammad. He is the teacher of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the founder of the Nation of Islam. This is where it starts getting... Mm -hmm. Personal research has... Personal research. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? research. Personal. Right. Personal research has proven that he knew Noble Jawali well, which is important to this discussion on law, masonry, government, Moorish Israel, and reparations. He moved secretly throughout America for 20 years before he started the open aspects of his work according to the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He went under many aliases during that time. Noble Jew Ali is witnessed as having a man teaching him named David Ford. This is cited in the Moorish Literature pamphlet of the Moorish Science Temple of America. This man is presented in the literature as teaching Juali on the ancient architecture of the Moors and its Egyptian origin. And then it says, Moorish literature pamphlet, the industrious acts of Muslims. And then when you read that, it's going to say that David Ford is the one that taught Noble Juali apparently, yeah. yeah, yeah. personal research, right? This same David Ford, according to historical witnesses, was requested by Noble Jawali to sit over the Morris Science Temple of America as a helping guide to maintain order while Noble Jawali was dealing with law enforcement issues in respect to the death of Claude Green, a former member of the temple. So wait, he's connecting the fact that what he given David Farad yeah. the right to sit over this thing. Right. But, but also what I'm connecting out with the personal research is personal bias. Right. Is that what, is that because he's also stating that Noble Drew Ali is witness as having a man teaching him named David Ford. Right. So if David Ford's the teacher, right. Right. And why is Noble Drew Ali making the teacher the head of something? That's 
That's right. Shouldn't that be David Ford's job to be the one saying, "No, Ali, Ali, go, I, you know, here, take this temple and go over here." You're saying it's basically the other way around. <laughs> Yes, go on. Right? Yeah. Because, you know, there's only one prophet. That's right. Right? Go on. All these false prophets trying to, you know, jack some energy with their, you know, mainly they use their helpers. Right. Right? In October of 1928, this same David Ford is pictured at a convention of the Moore Science Temple of America. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad stated in an interview with Buzz Anderson in 1971 that he has never taught, he was never taught what the D stood for in the name of his teacher, W.D. Fard. This was one of the names that Master W. Fard Muhammad went by. It is this same man, David Ford, that is witnessed in the 1929 Morris Science Annual National Convention as saying quote, he would bring America to its knees for the death of Noble Juali and the attacks made on the Amorish Americans by local police in 1929. And then that comes from, that quote comes from interviews with Anderson L. Guess where he's from? Chicago? Baltimore. <laughs> done by Carl Evans and cited in the messenger. One month after the stock market crashed and many of the former Moors and Masons saw this man as a prophet and followed him to Detroit where the nation of Islam was born. In the beginning stages of the movement he was known as Prophet W.D. Farr. Hmm. Again According to many researchers accounts, this man was a very mysterious man. He came teaching truths in religion that never had been heard before by black people in America. The book's message to the black man of America and our savior has arrived by Elijah Muhammad gives the best depiction of his coming and purpose. Our point here for the subject of reparations is the impact of the motion started by this man is the cause of events like the Million Man March. He prophesied that Islam would become the dominant religion in America at a time when many of our people were not even reading Qurans publicly. It, in brackets, Islam, was looked at as a pagan and heathen religion not associated with the original black people of America and the world in any way. We'll take a pause for the cause right there. Oh, before we go there, before we shut this up. The early years of the Nation of the Islam saw the continuance of similar nationalizing processes that the Morris Science Temple of America had initiated making members officially not subject 14th Amendment subject citizens of the United States, but members or citizens of the Nation of Islam under the status of Muslim and Muslim. Hmm. So this is the fraud, the, the, the secondary fraud of putting them into free, into, into free citizenship, but still under the nation. Under the nation. Which is a Which fraud, is a fraud, fraud in a fraud. a fraud. Because the nation of Islam is not a nation, That's right. so you can't nationalize. That's right. And making, a Muslim a Muslim. making the status of a Muslim and Muslim, Muslim and Muslim, that status you have at birth. That's right. They know that. That's muscles and, and ligaments. They know that. So if they know that the status of a Muslim or a Muslim mm -hmm. is given to them at birth, right. what are they nationalizing people for? So this is yet again that shell game. Well, we, we, oh, it gets it's deeper. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad 
was well aware of these secret religious and Islamic laws of discussion and their connection to American jurisprudence as well. How did Elijah Muhammad learn that? Right? Because he was the second man after fire. Mm -hmm. His work and mission to prepare us spiritually as a nation according to the law of Allah displayed his sincere desire for us not to follow in the footsteps of the nation that was taking itself on a course of destruction the United States of America right so he had a sincere want to not have people do what they had just been doing is that what you're right okay right which is a contradiction of course. because you know you're, you're saying that they're you know, we're making them officially not citizens of the United States, making them true which is the corporation, that, which is, that's legal, legit. We're making them nationals of another organization, which is... Which legit, isn't a nation. Which, and so you're not making them nationals. That's right, which isn't legit either. And then you're saying, third one down the line is saying that that was wrong too. Right. Okay. Right. In an article from the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, Dated April 11th, 1969. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, just so you know how it, it was. It was only it's a short period of time ago when they stopped doing this part of the uh, protocol. Okay. Right. So from 1969, or maybe a little bit after that, until now is when. This process right. got eliminated from the teachings. Okay. Right. Which is very recently is what you're saying. Right. Okay. In an article from the Muhammad Speaks newspaper dated 11, April 11th, 1969, entitled, Clarification of Actions Taken by Messenger Muhammad Against Muhammad Ali's Action. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad states in reference to these identity passes, Okay. The government of America has known this law of Allah for many years. The law is to take the identity card away from you. This is written on the identity card in red letters. Mr. Cassius Clay did not have one of these cards. It is good that he did not have one. Nevertheless, we carry the principle into practice. Bless us. One of the 25,000 identification cards given out by Master Fard Muhammad in Detroit and Chicago from 1930 to 1934 for registered Muslims. Right? So this is the nationality card or the identity card that they had in the nation. So they had nationality cards in there. They had cards that they were given, right? Mm -hmm. You can see that it has the um, symbol of Islam right there, right? Mm -hmm. And then we look at the Moorish American nationality card. Right? You can see that the cards are relative. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Their card? Oops. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's their card. Hmm. Right? And what did he say? He said, I'm going to read his quote again, The government of America has known this law of Allah for many years. The law is, the law is to take the identity card away from you. This is written on the identity card in red letters. Mr. Cassius Clay did not have one of these cards. It is good that he did not have one. Nevertheless, we carry the principle into practice. The principle of issuing nationality cards. 
to people who proclaim their nationality as Muslim. Hmm. Right? Well, again, is another. Which, and if you go ask Muhammad Ali, how can we join the nation of Islam? Yeah, because I was going toward Islam. So I joined the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. like, you know, logically. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're going to go to Islam, mm -hmm. then you're going to join, you're going to become, an, become uh, a, a, national. a national of yeah. an Islamic nation. That's right. There's no such thing as an Islamic nation. Just like there's no such thing as a Jewish nation. I don't hear Hindus going around talking about, yeah, you know, we have the Hindu nation over here, people come join the Hindu nation. Right? But, you know, the sellout is only going to go as deep as you want. Because if these guys are issuing nationality cards in 1969, mm -hmm. right, there is documentation that they were given, they were given these identification cards, but they were selling Moorish nationality cards. Wow. Wow. Right? An FBI that they used to call G-Men mm -hmm. Pull them up on it, wow. and that's that's and that's common in encyclopedia information about the nation of Islam. That's not like some hidden information that, they were that you can't Morris find. Nationality that they're selling, right? Right, because they were members of the Morris Science Temple, right. and then they sold out from doing that right. because they wanted to create this new nation that was, you know, more suitable for the black people to integrate into society because. You know, the prophet W. D. Fard. Another straw. Another straw. Right? Strawing these people up. What was the lawful authority to take such actions in law based on? What knowledge did these individuals have about the United States of America's foundational documents and treaties attached to the Constitution? and the lawful and legal consequences so I want Nation of Islam somebody out there right to find me some type of literature written by Elijah Muhammad, Farad Muhammad or whatever that talks about enforcing the Constitution I want to see that because if they're talking about you know the government of America and Somewhere in your literature, you must be talking about the enforcement of the Constitution. Because you can't make governmental claims and putting governments on notice and doing all these and things. Interacting with government. Interacting with government if happen. you don't know the Constitution yourself. That's right. And that it's taught and to that the people that, it, yeah. that are part of your congregation. That's right. It's standard that you study the Constitution if you're going to make, if you're going to talk about Government of America, people joining your nation, having a nationalization process so that the members aren't subject 14th Amendment, subject U.S. citizens? That's no Bujwali all the way right there. That's no Bujwali all the way. Where they get it? Where they get it? Divine warning by the prophet for the nations. Then don't forget, right? Don't forget. Here's the picture, right? Here's the convention picture. All right? And right up in this corner right here, you see David Ford L. Right up in this corner right here. Right? There he is. You can go online and you can look it up for yourself. Right? That's the convention picture. And there's David Ford L. right there. Documented fact by Ali Muhammad Bey, and you could go on YouTube and look up Ali Muhammad Bey and watch those videos mm -hmm. with his name that has Bey. Mm -hmm. But anything that doesn't have Bey, don't watch it because it's not even worth watching. Because right. why would you denationalize yourself? Why would you have a Bey in some videos, I'm not, I'm not. and then some videos you don't have Bey? And then sometimes you say that you're so you hear, you ever hear Taj talk about yeah I'm Taj Tariq Bay, no I'm Taj Tariq, no. and, and and not talk about your free national name. Well, why would you have it if you're not going to talk about it? Because Ali is also a free national name. 
Ali is a free national name. No, I know that too. So you don't have to have Bay if you have Ali in your name. If 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 El Bay is on your name, you're gonna be tied to the Morris Science Temple of America. Hmm. But Prophet's name is Ali. Right? Jack and energy. Yeah, of course. Right? right? Jealous of the Prophet's fame and nobility, so we just use his name. Of course. Right? And be and be the leader of our own thing. And using the Ali because it's something to be exalted, right? Right? So you know that. <laughs> right? You know that. First that, that's the first lesson. Don't name your children Ali. Because you have to earn that name there. You don't just put that name on yourself. And the only reason somebody put that name on yourself is because they read that statement. So this is the prophet talking. And there's no bullshit with the prophet. That we can look out here right now and see the conditions that we're suffering. Man called me today about, yeah, I just got, came out of jail or whatever because, you know, I was driving and, you know, to just today. So it's still going on. Right? How come? Because they want to be what they're not. Because you have these sellout agent leaders, right? That Is he from our temple, though. Who's that? The person who. Ever no, just just somebody out there. Ah, now calling. Now just calling. somebody out there. Now calling. Somebody out there. You know, I, I, I this happened to me, and then you know I was just on YouTube, and somebody was talking about you know driving fraud, and then I found your video about driving fraud, and. Like, right? No, no, but, but don't make any contact, you know, when you find out about it. Of course. After they get their ass kicked, then they're going to come and say, oh, yeah, you know, I was watching your YouTube video and you were talking about uh, whatever, whatever, you know, but I got my ass kicked after I watched your video. You know, what did I do wrong? And yeah, you didn't come to class, you didn't do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? You didn't do anything. We run a tight ship up here. You know. You notice the people who, you know, follow the protocol. They don't have any issues or nothing like that. Not getting stopped, and they're not not the protocols that we make up. Free national standards. They make a man. It's a simple guideline to follow. Proclaim your nationality, and go back to the state of mind of ancient forefathers. As well, I think you and I were talking about this before, which was that uh, basically we should be carrying ourselves in the right way. Accordingly. Right. Because logically, if you don't carry yourself accordingly, you know. You're going to suffer. <laughs> you're going to suffer. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're going to suffer. You have no choice but to suffer right. if, if you don't carry yourself accordingly. Right? And Noah Drawley made it clear to, to all these more is out here that if you don't have if you lose faith in I your prophet you know turn in your card your button your fez and your turban and go back to the corporate state you can't you can't deny and denounce the prophet but then still talk about law and government and whatever because if you denounce the prophet that means you just you just cancel your your position how how can you cancel your position by consent how could you cancel your position by not being in proprio persona which go back to the go back to the 101 right how did prophet begin to uplift the moorish americans by teaching them to be themselves right so he's teaching he's he came to teach us to be ourselves right to be ourself means in proprio persona, in one's own proper person. Right? That's what Nobuji Ali came to teach us. When it says in the 101, he came to teach us to be ourself. He came to teach us to be in proprio persona. Why? And this is, you know, Moore's already got this. This is for other people who think Nobuji Ali doesn't know what he's talking about. And remember that. 
in propria persona mm -hmm. is a Latin term. Right? Mm -hmm. So don't come and tell me about, well, you know, Nobu Juali was teaching the white man's law. Because white people didn't create Latin. Hmm. It was our language. All right? So they need to stop the crap about he's following Europeans. He is a prophet. Sincere people are going to get this. And they're going to jump on Nobu Juali tomorrow after they watch this. Because that's how serious it is. Just today, sister, another example of today, Sister linked me today, just with the question, how do I proclaim my nationality? This is somebody who, you know, like, it's not on their dial plate. Mm -hmm. Right? But, something hit him. Mm -hmm. and, if, and if this sister could ask that question right there, that that's the that's the eighty million dollar question. The eighty million dollar question. How do I proclaim my nationality? Once once you got them there to that line right there. Yeah. Now yeah. now we're making some progress now because course. you want you want it. That's right. There's nothing to do with what I say right. or what Taj said or what Aline said or what Queen Valara said or what this more you know with, with his child you know and get them out of the police car and whatever on YouTube. There's nothing to do with that. When you digest this for yourself and you realize something and that you get that click, that means that you went into the next cycle. It's time to put, up, put away your childish stuff that you've been dealing with. The Negro black colored crap, right? The bullshit and actually deal with the reality. Because we've done all that stuff and it's not going to get any better if we continue to play this stupid game of being something that we're not. Mm -hmm. Forget about being called black. Mm -hmm. Whatever else. We'll, we'll leave Negro black colored out. Whatever else you call yourself, throw that shit in the garbage. Because you're gonna, guaranteed, they're gonna abuse you. Guaranteed. And how are they gonna abuse you? Because you're not in your own proper person. Mm -hmm. Right? Because you run against the prophet. That's why they abuse you. It is a rule in pleading that pleas to the jurisdiction of the court. So when we went so right there, pleas to the jurisdiction of the court. Mm -hmm. Just like Taj was talking about. If you say court, we're automatically in the mind frame that where we are is legitimate. Hmm. We're not talking about administrative, we're not talking about kangaroo court we're not talking about traffic court we're talking about legitimate mm -hmm. court mm -hmm. legitimate jurisdiction mm -hmm. that has authority mm -hmm. to hear matters between people mm -hmm. that are in controversy mm -hmm. right so the pleas to the jurisdiction of the court must be pled in proper persona meaning that if you're pleading for anything your plea has to be Coming from a real coming from you in your own proper person. If not, you then put it into some other jurisdiction. Because if pleaded by attorney, mm -hmm. they admit the jurisdiction. They allow the jurisdiction. Right. You gave the jurisdiction up. Because an attorney is an officer of the court mm -hmm. and he is presumed to plead after having obtained leave, which admits the jurisdiction. So when you're not in your proper person, mm -hmm. you're going to go get a lawyer. As soon as you get the lawyer, you just gave jurisdiction. That's right. Not only there did you give jurisdiction, mm -hmm. but you also gave jurisdiction because this guy that you hired works for the court. That's right. So you gave, you gave double, double jurisdiction. Double you gave jurisdiction by hiring them, right. which means that you're not competent. Right. To handle your own affairs, so you're you're a dumb nigger. Right. So you have a lawyer. Right. And because you're a dumb nigger, when you go in there, he's gonna sell you like a slave trader to the court. That's right. Because he's an officer of the court. And then they just got jurisdiction now. Because now he, the slave catcher, brought you to the big house. And and the lawyer is the is, the lawyer is the real, it's the real the real warrant. Yeah, yeah. That's the real warrant. The warrant's not 
the paper no. that well, you miscorded it, so we're going to come get you. It's the fact that you have this, <laughs> this man who has basically got your control of you. Right. He he has, you're his ward. Right. You're his ward at the moment. Because, because you sign for a fee. Yes, sir. What, how are wards paying fees? How are minors paying fees? Isn't that fraud right there? That I'm going to go to crying baby yeah. and charge the crying baby for milk. And want the crying baby to pay. And if the crying baby doesn't pay, you stay there and cry. You got, you're not getting no milk around here. Tragic. Right? All because didn't listen to what the prophet said. And didn't take it a step further. Nobu Jwali said, he taught us to be ourselves. Okay, well, be myself. All right, so yeah. We have it all figured out because he taught us to be ourselves. So we're being ourselves because we're listening to the prophet Nobu Jwali. Nope. Yeah. You just failed your exam. And you're going to have to do kindergarten over. Sorry, say that again? You're saying that what? You're saying that I'm listening to the prophet by being myself? Yeah, but it's further than that. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's way further than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're saying that that's not it alone. That's just that's just a sign pointing in a direction. Yeah, yeah. That's a block of wood. Yeah, but there's a road 800 miles that way. That's right. You're not going to go walk that road? Yeah, you have to walk. That you have to walk anyways? Yeah. And if you choose not to walk it, people are going to be pushing you onto that road uh. or dragging you down that road on a train by their truck, uh. <laughs> right? Because you don't want to walk down it. Okay, well then, we'll go this way then. Hey, we'll go the hard way. You're going to be going a different way. Yeah. We'll go the hard way. Right? We'll chain you to a truck mm -hmm. and we'll drag yeah. your ass down this road. Yeah. Maybe you'll get it then. No, you still don't get it? Okay, how about we tie you to these horses right here right. and we pull you apart? Right. Or you don't get it. How about we take this lady that you call your wife who's pregnant and we cut her stomach open and we stomp on some some children of yours just because you want to be a slave on a plantation when a slave is a European and you just put yourself in the jurisdiction no different than hiring a lawyer or an attorney just by just by agreeing you put yourself in slavery and then after you agree and they're lynching you, hanging you, and whatever, you want to fight for some constitutional rights <laughs> from some act, which the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in the land, says is unconstitutional. And you're still fighting for that. The Supreme Court said that the Civil Rights Act was unconstitutional. Go check it out yourself. Mm -hmm. And has been unconstitutional. And has been unconstitutional. And they have to keep holding it back in. And, and, you, and that's, that's where you're looking to for your freedom? Right? It's 2013, 100 years later. That's what he said. If these people, and, and there's a sister, she might be still on, she might be on, on I'm pretty sure she's on Facebook, Sister Kentucky. Sister Kentucky mm -hmm. used to she used to invoke Olokun. Olokun used to come through her. Nana Olokun, right? Mm -hmm. One of the Orishas, mm -hmm. right? What is that? Sorry, I'm not... Um, Orisha is, you know, like a spirit ancestor. Okay, right? she used to come through. So, she used to go into trance, right? right? Pull out her little Ashanti stool, mm -hmm. right? Pull out her cutlass or whatever, machete or whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? Take off her top, mm -hmm. tie it on her head, mm -hmm. Right? This is all in trance. Mm -hmm. Right? And sit down and talk to us about stuff that, you know, personal things and, you know, worldly things mm -hmm. that you're not the sister that was just sitting here. Mm -hmm. you're, 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 definitely you're somebody different. Mm -hmm. You can tell that you're different. Your features are different. You still look like the same person, mm -hmm. but things are different. Your eyes are different. Mm -hmm. The way you talk is different. The mannerism is different. So this is probably something real, right? So one time she went into trance, and she was explaining how, you know, 
we have a job to do to save our people, right? People who are who know about themselves and whatever. This is before Moorish and all that mm -hmm. stuff, right? We have a job to save our people because we know, right? Now, saving them doesn't mean you know jumping in the the, the yeah. water with them. Yeah, yeah. That's saving right. them means cast them a line. That's right. Right? You know, put your hand out. Right. Whatever. Right. If they choose to not put theirs up or grab whatever or anything, they're done. Not only on the earth plane, but the ancestors also. Because the ancestors are at a point where they're ready to give up on our, our race or whatever. The so-called dark-skinned people, right? The ancestors are abandoning them. This was like 2005 she was saying this. Wow. That the ancestors are going to leave them. And the ancestors are only going to deal with the ones that deal with truth and righteousness and whatever, right? Things that have to do with uplifting our people from from this position. And she was explaining that they're at the line right now with these people, the ancestors. Right? Google Olokun. Just so you could get a you know perspective of who she is and what the perspective is. Mm -hmm. Right? In, in in her making these statements. Right? And you know the, the Orishas come through anybody that you know is is worthy of mm -hmm. being a vessel. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So you know we used to go down to to, to the lake or whatever, do rituals. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like put you know we we, we like insane things used to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like fish and all this type of stuff used to come suit. Like you know we'd be there late, mm -hmm. twelve one o'clock in the morning, mm -hmm. and there's fish, fish that. It's too dark to see, but you know you know that that's not the regular fish. Hmm. There's people were there. Us Takawa's there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a couple other people were there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We know. We were looking. We were looking out there in that water, wow. right? And we know that that was that was entities or water beings or whatever. You know what I mean? You know, and she was saying, "No, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call them for you, so you can see because you know I know some of you guys don't believe this, and you think that you know this is bullshit or whatever, whatever. But I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you." He kept saying, "I'm gonna show you. You're gonna see, right?" So it solidified certain things. You know that? Okay. Well, maybe you better listen. <laughs> maybe you better listen to what's going on. You know what I mean? And then we listen, and right after that. You know, and she also mentioned about how, you know, because of the work that we're doing, we're meaning, you know, like just people in general that are positive. sincerely for their people, yeah. positive one, help their people. What they have to watch out for is people of their own that are trying to get rid of them. Wow. And right after that happened was when the whole thing went down with the Marcus Garvey Center, right? Where we had keys to the Garvey Center. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the board of people had keys. There was a, a doctor by the name of Charmaine Marine, right? Very powerful elder that basically, you know, gave up the, did like what the ancient Egyptians did with the Moors, with us and the Garvey Center. Like gave us a key. Mm -hmm. Said, you know, don't worry about what anybody tells you. Don't listen to what anybody says. Here's a key. Mm -hmm. A big building, like, like yo, a building, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? We, they have this meeting. They call this meeting. She had a stroke or something like that, in wheelchair and all this. They call this emergency meeting for this lady to come, like seven, eight o'clock in the night, a wheelchair, to some meeting, for them to, yo, give, give it to her. Yo, give it to her. Bam, she died, and then, like a little while after, those people. Because after that happened, we we wash hands from that place. We said, "Yo, it's demons that run in this place, so we're not even messing with this place no more." Wow. Right? A little while after that, bam, city came back, took back the building. They got the building for a dollar. 
they bought the building for a dollar and lost it because they wanted to be Negro black color people. Who bought the building for a dollar? The Marcus the, Garvey the, the, the people. The Marcus Garvey people bought that building for bought that building for a dollar, dollar. one Canadian dollar. Right. Like a building that had a lecture hall, upstairs, yeah, downstairs, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Right. saying after this whole thing happened, thing, then the city came back in and took it. Yeah, took it back. Wow. I want to know why we don't have stuff. Right? We want to know how come we're, you know, we can't pass nothing down to our posterity and whatever. Because sell out niggers. Dirty morals. Uh, this stuff has been on and the sorcerer has been on too. Phew. Heck, uh, big time. Right? Divine warning by the prophet for the nations. It's on the website, CanaanLandMoors.webs.com. Go read that. Then read it a few more times, so you can understand. digest. Not only understand it, but digest that this is a warning that he's giving you. This is not to just you know stand sure. up on the soapbox yeah. 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 and you know get you. Oh yeah, we know about ourselves. And we know that we're Moors. Let's get fezes on and let's. Don't even go there. But that's how you get your ass kicked. Because you want to go out there and want, yeah, you know, Moors, yeah, they know who the Moors are, so we're just going to, you're going to go to, like I was telling the brother, same brother that called about the driving thing. I was like, there's somebody who took over your house, and they're living in your house chilling for 500 years. And you know, they, they redid the house and got the chandelier and whatever. You're coming in there talking about your, that's your house, they need to get out right now. They're just getting up. Yeah. You'll be, you be a fool and to think fact, that they're just going to get up. They have control of the kitchen, the food, the, the, the basement, the food, lights, the the whatever. So even if you do get it back, right. you're still uh, you're still a slave because you're not going to have no lights, right. no food. Right. Anytime you put on the fridge, it doesn't work. Anytime you flip the thing, it doesn't work. No, but I meant you know? that even to the, to the effect that they have control of your food sources and things like this. So you have no guarantee that anything. Before you actually get control of your stuff, you better be on your square. That's why nationality is the order of the day. Because, yeah, you can say that you're a more. Can you be it? Right. Say that you're a more. Can you be it? And being it ain't happening on Facebook, YouTube, and being it happens out here. Yeah. Being it doesn't happen like those guys, you know, yeah, go to talk, go to court, you know, shoot some crap at the judge, you know, he sees your fez, you know, you recognize that, you know, he's a mason, you know, his I ring showing, I realize that. you guys do the eye contact thing, and then, you know, he just throws out your stuff because... That ain't happening. That ain't happening. <laughs> in fact, it's going the other way. In fact, it's going the other way. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, it's not even, it's not even that... You know, it's a deterrent or whatever, right? But you know, just you know, don't don't think that they don't know. You know, don't don't think that they don't know. They know what's up, mm -hmm. but they've been sitting in the seat for so long that they got comfy. That's all. That's right. And we've not done anything for so long, so they got comfy. And not only that, they ain't giving it up easy. They're not giving it up easy. You know what I mean, so you already know how we does it, and don't forget, don't forget. Right, we're gonna, cause for that month, all these, yeah. all these um agents. Don't forget, right? Don't forget, continuing her father's legacy, right? This is a kufi and crap. That's a fez, okay, right? And that's sister Atala Shabazz, right? Wearing her feds. Hmm. Right? Hmm. That's not no African hat. Okay? Right? Turk in America. Turk in America. know what's up everybody knows what's up except Negro black color people and if you continue not knowing what's up you're gonna fall victim to this divine warning that the prophet laid down 
because because he said it right just make sure you're just make sure you're looking at the picture when I read this if Italians Greeks English Chinese Japanese Turks and Arabians are forced to proclaim their free national name and religion before the constitutional government of the United States of America it is no more right than the law should be enforced upon all other American citizens alike and if you check the pattern they haven't enforced the law on all American citizens alike hmm. which means they have a plan of enslaving you or eliminating you because they're supposed to enforce the fact that you should proclaim your free national name Right. We don't want Negro black colors around here. That's right. We've had them and they don't do anything That's but right. make the place smell like dead people. Strange uh, fruit. Well, I was thinking about this too, even this damn Super Bowl thing. You just got a set of black niggers and colors playing playing for them. That's all they really are, is fodder, right? Ain't no different than the ones that go to war for them. That's right. Going and fighting to keep this European in power. That's right. When they have their own land that they should be fighting for, but they don't want to fight for that because they came, they think they came from somewhere else. And then don't forget, go bug Ali Muhammad for his book, which lays down the truth about Nobu Ali and his connection to the United States government. Breaks it down. Right? Make, make sure you go ask him. This is from 2005. Make him go reprint this. Oh, well, it's probably out of print, eh? Oh, more than likely. Yeah, yeah. More than likely. But don't worry, we got a copy in Canaan land. So if you, so you know, considering that, you know, they don't talk about Noble Jolly no more. Noble Jolly's unmasked and all that stuff. It shouldn't be no problem to, for us to be, to be bootlegging this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right? Because yeah. they denounce the prophet now. Yeah. So everything that's in here. It's, it's, it's being claimed by the Moors right now. That's right. Canaan land Moors. So we have it. Right? So we're going to close out Islam to all the Moors online for dealing with the little technical difficulties. And you know what I mean? We're, we're getting going. Also, too, um, get the word out. We're, 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 we're contemplating whether we're going to stream. You know what I mean? Because last weekend we streamed, you know, and people might have stayed home but it was Super Bowl so we're gonna say that they were watching the Super Bowl it's not like they were you know running from coming to coming to the temple so this Sunday we have Professor Dunham L mm -hmm. so go on YouTube if you haven't mm -hmm. and look up videos by a brother by the name of Professor I self mm -hmm. so go watch some videos by Professor I self for the rest of the week and then prepare yourself for a dynamic, a dynamic Skype presentation on Sunday for the Moors and Canaan land. It's going to be at the Temple, 1704 Eglinton Avenue West, right? Um, starting at four o'clock. For the people online, we're still working on it, but you already know how Canaan land does it. We don't, we don't play haterade, right? We wait for the people, right? So we're gonna close out with the prayer. Islam again, Morris, for being online. Appreciate y'all, Canaan land Morris. We love y'all. Appreciate y'all, and all the Morris, Els and Bays that are doing the the works of the Prophet and staying active, not passive. We're gonna finish with the prayer, the Morris American prayer. Allah, the Father of the universe. Allah, the Father of the universe. Father of love. Father of love. Truth. Truth. Peace. Peace. Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My guide. My salvation. My salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. Through His Holy Prophet. Through His Holy Prophet. Noble Juali. Noble Juali. Amen. Amen. Islam. 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 Peace and hotel. <laughs>